Hello viewer, welcome to my channel, Learn Physics. Viewers, आज इस वीडियो में हम वेव इक्वेशन इन आइसोट्रॉपिक डायलेक्ट्रिक मीडियम को डराइव करेंगे तो चलिए शुरू करते हैं डायलेक्ट्रिक मीडियम एक नॉन कंडक्टिंग मीडियम है और आइसोट्रॉपिक क्या होता है वो हम समझते हैं इफ प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ ए डायलेक्ट्रिक मीडियम डू नोट डिपेंड ऑन डायरेक्शन वेन मेजर देन द डायलेक्ट्रिक मीडियम इज कॉल्ड आइसोट्रॉपिक डायलेक्ट्रिक मीडियम इन ए डायलेक्ट्रिक मीडियम वी हैव वॉल्यूम चार्ज डेंसिटी फॉर फ्री चार्जेज रॉ इक्वल टू जीरो Conductivity is also zero. B is equal to mu times h, where B is the magnetic flux density, mu is the permeability of that medium, and h is the magnetic field intensity. D, the displacement vector, is equal to epsilon times electric field, where epsilon is the permittivity of that medium, as given in equation one. Now we start with Maxwell's equation as given in equation 2a. Now in view of equation 1, equation 2a takes the form in view of equation 1 Maxwell's equations takes form divergence of e is equal to 0 divergence of h is also equal to 0 curl of e is equal to minus mu del h over del t and curl of h is equal to epsilon del e over del t and collectively we call these four equations equation number 2b now take curl of equation 2b part 3 now take curl of equation 2b part 3 we write curl of curl of vector e is equal to minus mu del over del t curl of h and this is called equation number 3a now take curl of equation 2b part 4 now take curl of equation 2b part 4 and we write curl of curl of h is equal to epsilon del over del t curl of e and this is called equation number 3b now we substitute curl of h from equation 2b part 4 in equation 3a and curl of e from equation 2b part 3 in equation 3b now substitute curl of h from equation 2b part 4 and curl of e 
from equation 2b part 3 in equations 3a and equation 3b respectively so we write curl of curl of e is equal to minus mu del over del t and here we have epsilon del e over del t this is equation number 4a and curl of curl of h is equal to epsilon del over del t and here we have minus mu del h over del t and this is called equation number 4b and equation 4a and 4b yields equation 4a 4b yield curl of curl of e is equal to minus mu epsilon del square e over del t square this is equation number 5a and curl of curl of h is equal to minus mu epsilon del 2 del h del t square and this is 5 b now we use a vector identity now use a vector identity what is this vector identity curl of curl of a vector A is equal to gradient of divergence of vector A minus Laplacian operator A. Now we use this identity in equation 5A and 5B. Now use this vector identity in equation 5a and equation 5b so we write gradient of divergence of e minus del square e is equal to minus mu epsilon del square e over del t square and this is called equation 6a and gradient of divergence of vector h minus del square h equal to minus mu epsilon del square h over del t square and this is equation number 6b now we use maxwell's equation as given in equation 2b from maxwell's equation 2b part 1 and equation 2b part 2 we have divergence of e equation 
equal to 0 and divergence of h is also equal to 0. So equation 6 and 6p takes the form. So equation 6a and equation 6b take form del square e minus mu epsilon del square e over del t square equal to 0 and del square h minus mu epsilon del square h over del t square equal to 0. This is called equation 7a and this is equation 7b. Now equation 7a and 7b are wave equations for field vectors e and h in isotropic dielectric medium. equations 7a and 7b are the wave equations for field vectors e and h respectively In isotropic dielectric medium, in isotropic dielectric medium. Now we compare these equations with the general wave equation. Now compare. equation 7a and equation 7b with general wave equation what is that we have del square u minus 1 over v square del square u over del t square equal to 0 and on comparison this comparison gives us that v square is equal to 1 over mu epsilon which further gives v is equal to 1 over under root mu epsilon now we can write permeability and permittivity of this medium in terms of relative permeability and relative permittivity so we write 1 over under root mu 0 mu r epsilon 0 epsilon r we can write it as 1 over under root mu 0 epsilon 0 and 1 over under root mu r epsilon r and we know that this quantity is speed of light in free space so we simply write v is equal to c over under root mu r epsilon r and let us call this equation equation number 7c Now, using equation 7c, equation 7a and 7b becomes now using equation 7c, equation 7a and equation 7b becomes del square e minus 
1 over v square del square e over del t square equal to 0. This is equation number 8a and del square h minus 1 over v square del square h over del t square equal to 0 and this is equation number 8b and equation 8a and 8b are the wave equations for e and h respectively in isotropic dielectric medium equations 8a and 8b are the wave equations for E and H respectively in isotropic dielectric medium. व्यूअर्स आज के वीडियो में इतना ही उम्मीद करता हूं कि वीडियो आपके लिए हेल्पफुल रहेगा थैंक्स फॉर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो प्लीज वीडियो को लाइक कीजिए शेयर कीजिए और मेरे चैनल लर्न फिजिक्स को सब्सक्राइब कीजिए थैंक यू